Greetings and welcome to my shed. I have here a box containing the Lifesaver bottle. This is from lifesaversystems.com and this particular bottle that's inside is called the Type 6000 UF. 6000 litres that it can filter. And UF Ultra Filtration. I can see a very large filter. Nanotechnology, a technology that, that contains holes so small, nothing, no particulates, no pathogens can pass through. Just pure water out the other side. They're being used all over the world, humanitarian reasons, private individuals like myself that like to go bushcrafting outdoors, but don't want to have to carry 6,000 litres of clean water and are kind of a little bit sick of the taste of iodine and the other chemicals you have to use. So I'm very much looking forward to testing this. There is also a bag here with a quick user guide and some instructions, because there's instructions on the bottle as well. Ah, first part of the instructions. Read the instructions. Well, this is a pressurised container, so that makes sense. Used correctly, it does save lives. So I will be reading these. And there's a little filter that looks like it might drop in the top. Uh, carbon filter, so I, that might just be for the taste, because that's the bad boy in there. So I'm going to get this primed, because you've got to prime all water filters before you get going. And I'm going to uh, show you it a little bit closer. You'll probably hear owls, dogs, lawnmowers and cars. And of course, wind, it's very windy. Here is the Lifesaver 6000 UF carbon filter, clean water. They do say flush it through with clean water to start with. So let's start with the cap. Let's screw that right down. This activated carbon filter, I guess, is optional. Finger tight is enough. And this is the bottom. This is where the magic happens. So I'm just going to unscrew this pop it on the side here there's quite a hefty filter there I'm imagining if you are going to be dunking this in filthy rivers streams bogs lakes ditches then you probably don't want um, the larger particulates getting into the bottle so that's designed for keeping leaves and twigs and mud and stuff out so I'm just going to pop that there for a moment and fill this up Oh, again, excuse the wind. Prime away. Let's do it as we would do out in the field. Drop that in there. And I'm just going to go pump, 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 pump. It's designed to be chew proof, so I'm going to do it with my teeth. And now, there we go. It's coming through. Is that making you want to go to the toilet? Are you sure you don't want to go to the toilet? Second pour. There we go. Large particulate filter on top. Pump handle through the middle. And we're good to go. Give it a bit of a pump. Whoa, yes. Okay, primed and ready to go. So, closest I could get to uh, dirty, filthy water is just uh, this. Two water butts uh, down the bottom of the garden, tucked away in the corner. Not a place I normally frequent or hang out. And uh, I certainly wouldn't drink water straight from a water butt due to the amount of bugs and crap and stuff. I don't know what's in it. It's a little bit caked and smegged and covered in crap. Here we go. But always full. Come on. Okay. Right. Green and full of what looks like larvae. Seriously. It's a proper bug fest in there. You probably can't see these little squirmy things around the side. No, wouldn't normally be drinking from there. So, I'm imagining my life depends on this. Remember what I said? Make sure the cap is secure. You're gonna put your lips around that end. And now you can see why that large filter is good on the top. So let's drop that into my water butt. And uh, it might be worth just clearing away some of the crud off the top. Now that's filling up nicely. I can, you can see it fill up and you can hear it fill up. And I'm gonna drop this 
There we go. On there. And now, one, two, three, four. It's full, so there's not that much airspace. It shouldn't need much more. But the only way to see how clean it is, is to drink it. Of course, if you're a scientist, there are other ways to see how clean your water is rather than tasting it. So this is a, um, a very hard cap to get off, like I say, but it's, it's like that for a reason, because that's keeping that uh, chew-proof nipple clean, because you don't really want to get your filthy hands all over there when you're opening it. So, here we go. This is my favorite whiskey glass, incidentally. I thought, why not treat myself to some garden water but water there's a slug floating in the top of there but there isn't in here that is insanely tasty water I have total confidence in the nanotechnology I hope you never get so thirsty as to have to drink out of your butt but you never know when you might be in an area of the world where you can't trust the tap water or you do get stuck short on a, a river trip away from bottled water, or you might just be fed up with bottled water and the amount of waste that produces as we fill landfills with plastic. In which case, you may well want to have a go at the Lifesaver bottle from lifesaversystems.com. I guess for the money, 175, um, a little bit less than that, you're getting about, I don't know, two point something pence Per litre of water, that's pretty good going. And the bottle doesn't just stop working. It slowly gets harder and harder for you to extract the water from it. It's not gonna leave you out in the middle of nowhere with no water. You're gonna know that it needs changing. And of course, you can buy the filters for a lot cheaper than you can buy the whole bottle. So, Lifesaver Systems may well save your life.